So we're down at the plot and the first thing I've noticed, apart from a helicopter going past, is this incredible sunflower. It's absolutely incredible. Paul, I can't believe this sunflower. Have you kept it's a volunteer and how many heads have you counted? I counted 63 the other day. Oh my goodness me. That is absolutely incredible. That's all one plant. Yeah. It's all from one stem. You can see that's the stem there. That thick stem. It's got that one. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Heads. That is unbelievable. Ten, ten from there. Amazing. We could have a huge bouquet of sunflowers in the house, Paul. If you can reach them. Are you going to leave them to go to seed then? I was going to because it's such a special. Food for the and it's food for the birds, isn't it? Yeah, but I think Wind noise. I thought we'd cover one of them to save the seeds. Yeah, I think you should. Wow. So we're down the plot and the, oh, and the amaranth as well. That looks incredible. Yeah, it's getting its flower and seed. Beautiful. Yeah, that's better. I can see the amaranth now. Wow, it's getting its, oh, it's beautiful. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Look at those heads. Aren't they so pretty? Gorgeous, vibrant colour. Incredible. Beautiful. So Paul, what's the primary reason that we're down here? It's not really to do a plot tour, is it? Which aren't here. We're to look at, we're coming look to do a... Okay, I can't look and say and do and all the things at the same time. So what's the primary reason, Paul? Potatoes. Potatoes, main crop potatoes. We're going to do... Harvest. We're going to do a potato reveal of... I'm holding my hand up to stop the wind noise, Paul, not to salute you. Oh, right, okay. Goodness me. I thought you were doing... No, I'm trying to minimise wind noise. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a potato reveal. Paul's going to reveal his spuds. Yeah. His golden, dirty spuds. Well, look at... Look at so them. what do you want me to look at? Look. A kohlrabi. Kohlrabi. Lovely. Lovely. And the fennel over there. Fennel at the end. Yeah. Lovely. Let's have a look. Hold on. Right. A bit thin, but well, they're still growing. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. Well, let's get this potato Potatoes. revealed. So, time for Paul to show us his tatties. I do apologise if there's any wind noise, but. And this is, really, this harvest is, um, our dinner is dependent on this harvest, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> it is a bit. So all the leaves have completely died back, which is kind of what you want, isn't it? And the potatoes sort of store, don't they? Yeah. They just store under the ground. You're taking the top bit off. Here goes. Let's see. Are there potatoes? Or will we starve tonight?
gosh, it's so breezy. What type of potato are these, Paul? I'm trying to think. They're pink. They are pink. We'll put How them are they the pink? But they're a, they're a you know, bog standard variety. There's nothing special about them. Okay. So is that it? You're just doing one? Yeah, I think so. Just checking there. Yeah, so. Well, there we go. Right. That's dinner. There's a few bits of. They can be peeled. It, but wait, well, that will just come off. Yeah. And that. They can just be scrubbed off any sort of scabby bits, can't they? Yeah. Lovely. There we are. That's tonight's dinner. Well, that's with... tonight's dinner and we'll cook all of them. And yeah. We'll have them for tonight and then yeah. we'll have leftovers. 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 Um, cold or in an omelette or something like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Great. And we'll put, I can't remember what variety they were. Well, they're very sort of pinky coloured. Yeah, they're. Um, and are they sort of waxy, these ones, do you I think? I like the waxy ones. Well, the waxy ones are more the, the main, uh, the early ones, the salad ones are more waxy. Great. Okay, well, there we are. I just want to pop over here to a neighbour's plot and show you this stash of Pumpkin. lovely, lovely pumpkins. I'm sure they won't mind. But look at these. Look at these. Glorious, glorious squash and pumpkins. Let's move around so you get a better view of the colours. Aren't they absolutely divine? Gorgeous, gorgeous. What a lovely display. Absolutely stunning. These aren't ours, let's just make that clear. This is a neighbour's plot. The sky's looking a bit dark. The wind's getting up. I think we're due rain. Let's have a little pan around. And all these quints on this bush here, which again is the neighbour's plot. Back over at our plot, we've got the last of the tomatoes still hanging on for dear life. Yeah, most of them have gone red. Yeah. Um, they don't these look. We'll be out in the next few days. They don't look to be stricken with the blight. There's a few there. You've got a few in the poly as well, Paul. Yeah, which we're not watering. Few in now. the poly. There's a few in the poly, just a few more tomato delights in there. These lovely zinnias, they're still going. Mm-hmm. Try and save seed from them. Yeah, why not? It's lovely and warm, the sun. Yeah. But there is a wind. And this is the new sowing of the broad beans starting to flower. And you can just see in there are some flowers. It's going to be a winter crop of broad beans. How lovely. The sun's going in. <laughs> 